Hello everyone and welcome to a surprise live stream from Daddy Daughter Card Breaks. My name is Clay. My name is Sydney. And we are happy to see each and every one of you here with us this evening for this unannounced live event that we're going to do here tonight. We, um, we've got the live stream coming up next Saturday, or this coming Saturday, I guess I should say. Mm -hmm. um, and it is going to be the debut of our Around the Diamond Break. There is one spot left for that. If somebody wants it, just get over to the website and make it yours. How's everybody doing this evening? I see Ronnie's family budget, the one and only Bud Stoney, Christopher Dore, Marlon Mann, Dan Schultz, another Hollis build, Aaron Jonah, Random Card Rips with Ryan. Hope everybody is doing good. Yes. Dave G is here. Can everybody hear us okay? And everybody seeing everything okay for the moment? <laughs> hands healing really good. Right, well, that's good that your hands healing really good. So, here's what we were going to do tonight, guys. We've got several mail packages that we need to get open and instead of doing a mail day video, we decided we would do it live. And then we are going to do another couple little things that we want to uh, share with you guys. So, the first thing we're going to do is we're just going to get right into some of this mail that we need to get to. So, here is the first one. It is from the Card Kids. Card Kids sent us a uh, package in the mail. So, you want to see what the Card Kids sent, Sydney? Yes. You have trouble there, Dad? Well, it's sealed pretty good. <laughs> so, oh, it's, so it's got, got, got a little turtle on the front of it. Nice little card. They sent us... A St. Louis team card. They know we're St. Louis Cardinal fans. I think there might be a little something else in there. Let's see what else is in here. So they sent us the St. Louis Cardinal team card and a Bob Gibson. So we appreciate that card, kids. And they sent us a nice little card here. Dear Sydney and Clay, thank you for the content. What is your favorite baseball card that you have ever pulled? My favorite player is Bo Bichette. What is the best Bo Bichette card you have ever pulled? Enjoy the two cards I sent you, the Card Kids. So, we thank you very much for that, Card Kids. We will comment in this one here once she and I discuss what our favorite Bo Bichette is that we have pulled or what our favorite card is overall that we pulled. And then we'll leave a comment on this video to answer that question for you. So thank you for those. We really appreciate that. All right, Sydney, if you can set that one over there. We'll get um, ready to get to our next one here. Now this one here is kind of expected for me. This one's from OMG Card Pools. As everybody can see, I was in on an OMG break uh, last Saturday morning for his coffee and cards. And he said he was going to put a couple extra things in here. So we'll see what oh. else we got. So we got an OMG pin, another OMG pin for Sydney. Got some Toy Wiz stickers. They do a lot of business with Toy Wiz over there at <laughs> OMG Card Pools. So we appreciate that. All right, so the, this is a bonus. He's got this labeled as a bonus, and as everybody can see. Is that a sticker? That It, it is. It's a sticker. <laughs> he has sent us a bonus of the 2020 Top Series 2 Luis Robert. So that, that's a that's a pretty nice bonus there from Brian over at OMG Card Pools. So we appreciate that very, very much. I think he printed the sticker out. <laughs> Here was the this is another bonus. Let's see what else we got here. Alright, so we got Trammel. Prospect. We got Jose Abreu from Prism. 
Alex Bregman, Jose Berrios, Hayslu Cesardo, rookie, that's nice. Shohei Otani, Josh Bell, and Glaber Torres. I've got a really nice Glaber Torres autograph coming from Eric Jabs on one of his breaks I was in the other day, so looking forward to getting that one. All right, and here's the cards that we got from the break that we were in over there at OMG. Oh, that's just a in this particular too. break, we had the Baltimore Orioles, New York Yankees, and the Boston Red Sox. Jay Bob, what's going on, buddy? We got the uh, Rick Porcello patch numbered out of 27. And we got the Mariano Rivera base card and the Jim Palmer base card. And both of those are obviously really nice. That was a really good hit right there, that Rick Porcello. Coming from OMG. Yeah, completing the box, we decided that we were going to do just a surprise, unannounced live stream. We had several mail packages we needed to get open, and then we're going to do a couple other little bonus things. And then this is a... I believe this is a Toy Wiz deal. I'm not 100% sure, but this is another bonus. Or I may have won this on a spin. I can't remember. Well, let's see what's inside this one here. All right, so looks like we got Hoskins and Harper. A nice Gavin Lux. Rookie card. And then looks like we got a nice little pack of base cards here Let's see what come in this one here this. well that's a that's some sort of packaging machine that that does that i thought about looking into that but i don't know for sure uh where to even start to tell you the truth <laughs> <laughs> it's just something i want to have to research just take a straight maybe if somebody already. knows about those packages right there um they can tell us a little something about them in the um, in the comments or in the chat if we catch it. There's a nice Frank Thomas card. Don't know if our buddy Clint Beach is here yet or not, but we're going to set that one aside for Clint. Clint is one of our Patreon members. He PCs Frank Thomas, so we're going to set that to the side for him. And Eric Hosmer, Michael Brantley, nice Gary Carter, Evan Longoria, Logan Allen, Tim Lincecum, Dylan Cease, rookie. There's my guy, Yadier Molina. And Lords Guriel Jr. So that's nice. We appreciate that, OMG. Nice little bonus right there. J. Bob, did you notice that bonus that he yeah. sent us? Pretty cool card right there, obviously. So that one's going to go into the... Luis Robert collection that Sydney and I have. It's a sticker. Yeah, it's a <laughs> sticker. <laughs> All right, Sydney, set that one to the side. We're gonna move on to the next package. Now this one here, I was definitely not expecting. This one here just took me totally by surprise. This one here come from Mr. Steve Rademacher. And I am not sure what Mr. Steve has up his sleeve here. Mr. Steve has been a subscriber for a while. He gets in on a lot of our breaks. We've sent him several packages. But this is the first one we've gotten from Mr. Steve. So this one here is kind of a little bit of a surprise for me. What are you looking for? I'm looking for the cutter to get the tape. I, I put it up here. So let's see what we've so got here. I don't know where it went. This package from Mr. Steve. All right, so it looks like Mr. Steve has I, sent things for the family, like what Bud Stoney did uh, uh. on our last <laughs> Mail Day video. If you guys recall, maybe you were here, maybe you weren't. We did a break one night live with uh, Big League, and uh, Sydney was sick that night, so Zach, my son, helped us out. So... Steve was here for that, and he has sent Zach a little something here. And Zach has, <laughs> happens to be standing right behind me. I told him to come if here. If you want to uh, come over here and open this, Zach, and see what Mr. Steve sent to you. 
Oh. Absolutely. J Bob's giving one of those away, guys. One of those uh, Series 2 Luis Robert rookie cards. Get over there to his Instagram. Let's see what he's got to say about that to get in on the giveaway. So, Mr. Willie Steve. McGee. Sent Zach a Willie McGee. Thomas Lane. I believe it's going to be Lane that. Thomas. <laughs> that's, that's, yeah. all, that's all right. I watched him hit a grand slam last year. Actually, that might have been this year, beginning of the year. Wayne Thomas, Paul Goldschmidt, Brian Hillsley, Colton Wong, Marcel Zuna, Tyler O'Neill, Yadier Molina. Yadier Molina. Pretty much the whole lineup on mm -hmm. Cardinals. And what's it looks like you got some WWE cards going on there too. Try and keep everything in nice, neat condition because I'm gonna put everything in a binder. Baron Corbin, Randy Orton, and another King Corbin. Another King Corbin. So, two different cards. So thank Baron you, Mr. Corbin Steve. Hey there, Mr. Steve. There he is. Just come in the chat. We're actually doing a little bit of mail here, Steve, and we just opened your package, which was a surprise for me. I definitely was not expecting it. And we just opened the envelope that was labeled for Zach. Zach happened to be here tonight, so he just opened that. He said, thank you very much, Mr. Steve. Now we are up to Sydney's envelope for Mr. Steve. Let's see what Sydney is going to pull out of hers. Oh. I know I see Pokemon too. So we got some Babe Ruth and a couple Pokemon packs. So J Bob, be jealous. Be jealous. Sydney got some Pokemon going on over here. So she's going to. Take these uh, Babe Ruth cards, and they will go nice in her Babe Ruth binder that she's got. Do you want to open that up? We haven't. I don't think we've gotten any of these yet. Well, go ahead and open that up. J-Bob said, yes, Pokemon. <laughs> so I don't recognize these style cards. That's all right. That'll go nice in your binder there. Just a... Uh, Babe Ruth set, the Babe Ruth collection. Yeah, I don't have this. It's set. like uh, made by Mega Cards, maybe. I'm not, I'm not quite sure. I don't have my glasses on. Look on the back of the cards, it should say the maker. Volman says, "How does one collect Pokemon?" J Bob, that's all you, buddy. You can talk to Volman on how one collects Pokemon. Yes. Well, Sydney, won't you uh, pop these Pokemon packs here and maybe <laughs> J-Bob would be able to tell you if you got anything because I definitely don't know. Um, she knows some of them. Yeah, and good thing we have the scissors here because these are not good to open. Well, they're good to open. They're just not easy for you to open. Yeah. Not <clears throat> got it. <laughs> She got a foil ducklet. J Bob may be able to tell us a little something about that. An, An island, island challenge, challenge amulet. amulet. And whatever that is. That's just like a little just insert a little deal. Little insert. I like Pokemon. There's Tricky Breaks. Good to see you here tonight. Tricky I just, Breaks. I just, I thought I just got, got a nice little. Uh, a nice little thing going on with him here in just a minute I'll tell you about. There's Scyther. And there's another full foil. Choice okay. helmet. helmet. J-Bob will have to tell us a little something about that too. Puppetar. Puppetar? I believe that's what that is. <laughs> I Puppetar. don't know. And then one of these again. Alright, so you got one more there. It's kind of like Open it from the 
hope everybody is having had a great weekend, had a great Sunday with their families. Mm-hmm. Now relax and wind down and end the night with a little bit of daddy daughter. Meditate. I believe it's meditate. J Bob may be able to help us meditate, out with that. Meditate, meditate. Grubbin. Grubbin. And Turffield Turffield Stadium. Stadium. So J Bob, you'll have to tell us about these here. And a foil ducklet and a foil choice trainer helmet. choice helmet. Of course, we don't know anything about those. Yeah, I don't. So our watch buddy J Bob have on. to tell us about those. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Steve. Sydney says, and then we've got an envelope here labeled for me. Just some reverse so hollows. We'll see what we got in. Just reverse hollows. Nothing special. Okay, thank you for that, sir. What's well, bad when you can't get through the scotch tape? <laughs> All right, so let's see what we got. Mr. Steve sent us a pack of Harley Davidson cards, Ooh. Series 2. Another pack of Harley Davidson Series 2. Is that I, gum? I, I believe, I believe <laughs> Mr. Steve's joking me here because he knows about. <laughs> he knows every time we talk about the gum. Well, he sent us a piece of gum here. I can't tell if that gum's from 1962 or from 1990. I have no idea. But that's pretty awesome. Thank you for that, Mr. Steve. It's still in the cellophane. So I'm actually going to I'm actually going to put that in a sleeve and a top loader and put it with mine and Sydney's collection. So we have uh, Manny Ramirez draft pick. It's hard. Mike Messina rookie card. Steve said that's from 2009. All right, I like it. Larry Walker rookie card. And Harold Baines. Very nice. It's pretty hard. So. Again, Mr. Steve, thank you so much for that nice little surprise gift. We definitely were not expecting that. I think he said he just sent that on Friday, so he's surprised it got here so quick. <laughs> yeah, don't break it. I want to put it in the sleeve. <laughs> All right, here, let's open some Harley Davidson cards. You want to? Yes. I don't think I've ever opened any of these uh, Harley Davidson cards. Well, that was pretty funny. The gum is hard as a, is literally hard as a rock. <laughs> that hurt my knuckle now. <clears throat> All right, so we're gonna open the Harley Davidson cards here. Some pretty cool. Gary might like these. Artwork <laughs> and pictures on them. A nineteen twenty fishing trip. <laughs> So that's pretty cool right there, the 1970 Sportster. That is really cool. And then we've got 1977 Police Special. Almost to the uh, chip style. From the TV show, still a few years out from that, but that was one of my favorite shows as a kid growing up. He said the gum was from the wrestling cards from 2009, I believe is what he said. Well, thank you for that, Mr. Steve. Like I said, definitely a unexpected surprise and gift, and we greatly appreciate it, sir. Yes. Those cards are definitely going to find a home in our collection all right so the next one come to us from uh mr clint motts i don't know if you guys remember clint or not clint is from qc card breaks he is clint the Beach. one that sent me and sydney the uh luis robert redemption autograph from the definitive set so he has now sent us something else. Curious to see what this is for sure. This paper here has just got our address on it. Let's see what we got going on here. See if I can find the right place to cut this. 
Because I definitely don't want to cut into whatever. Then just pull the thing yeah, apart. It's, well, it's in a top water, so we should be okay. Dog. Got Lucky saying hi to you guys. Oh yeah, we got a Luis Robert rookie card from Optic. Nice Luis Robert from the Donruss Optic Series, rated rookie. So thank you very much for that, Clint, over at QC Card Breaks. Yes. We really appreciate that. Very much. All right, so the final package for what was going to be mail day is actually too big to get up on the screen. So I'm yeah. going to show you a picture of it and explain to you what it is. <laughs> All right, so this right here is the box that come in the mail from Tricky Card Breaks. Me and Sydney have wow. done some business with Tricky Card Breaks, and we got a hold of 20 subscription boxes and seven of the prospect packs. Now, if you don't recall, we did a review video on the subscription box and the uh, prospect packs. Mm -hmm. And what we decided to do was we really liked them. So we got a hold of him. We bought uh, 20 of these subscription boxes and seven of these um, prospect packs. So we could do a live stream with those. If you guys were interested in doing those, we wanted to have them available. It is going to be uh, the live stream after our next one, which our next one, again, is this Saturday. It's going to be the Around the Diamond break. Again, guys, there's still one more spot for that one there. If you would like to get over to the website and grab that one there, one spot left for that. So what we are doing tonight, just to give you guys a good idea of what you are going to be able to find inside these boxes is we're going to do a preview break of these right now and mr brian zebart has sponsored the preview break so the preview break is going to consist of one of the prospect edition series packs and it is going to have one of the subscription boxes so I'm not sure if Mr. Zebart is here in the chat with us at the moment or not. I think I've seen him. I'm just not 100% sure if he's here. I know Tricky is. Yeah, I've seen Tricky. Go ahead and scroll back down. So, uh, Brian, if you're here, give us a yell real quick. But we are going to break this for Brian. He, uh, like I said, he sponsored this for tonight's preview. So we are going to do this for Brian. All right, so we're going to go ahead and get into this. He will be perfectly fine with it. If he's not here, he knows he can catch it on the replay. So we're going to get this thing <coughs> open, maybe. It's slippery. All right, so you guys, now the label says each one of these is going to have seven packs guaranteed and three autographs. I have noticed with some of these subscription boxes that some of them have more than seven. So the one that Sydney and I actually previewed a while back, I think it had nine or ten packs in it. I can't even remember now. So I don't know if it. I don't know if it uh, depends on the product or what it is. Um, but what we're going to do for the live stream, these th these are not on the website yet. They will be on the website within the next. Uh, within the next week or so, we'll, it'll be it'll definitely be after uh, Saturday's live stream. Um, we will just we will announce it uh, once it goes live on the website. So just keep your eyes out for that. The subscription boxes are sixty five dollars a piece, and the prospect packs are forty dollars a piece. So let's see what Mr. Z Bart is going to have in his subscription box. Looks like he has one of them that has the guaranteed seven packs in it. And it is going to be a pack of 2020 Chrome, 2015 update, 2017 update, 2020 Donruss, two packs of 2020 Bowman and a 2019 high number series. So we're going to crack those here in just a moment. But first we're going to 
see what autographs he got with this here. So, we got an Adam Klopfenstein, a nice uh, first Bowman, blue parallel. Oh, actually, that's Sapphire Edition. <laughs> Sorry about that, not blue parallel, it's Sapphire Edition. Then we got Domingo Leba out of 299. And you got an Eric Chavez from the Archive Signature Series. Number 19 out of 94. So that's a nice one. I used to like Chavez a lot. So congratulations on those three autographs there, Brian. All right, Sydney. Let's open up these packs for Mr. Z-Bart. What do you think? Yes. All right, so I'm just going to start with the top. We'll just go down. We'll see. We'll definitely save the newer ones for last. But I want to go ahead and start with this. 2019 Heritage High Number. See what we can pull out of there. There's that pack. So you want to go ahead and grab that next one, the 2017 yes. Update Series. I just put on some Germex, so... She put on some Germex. Hello, Jay's Mix. Glad to see you here with us tonight. George the Collector. Don't know if I shouted you out a while ago or not. Dirk Remington. That's the first time I've seen you. Glad you could be here with us. Antonio Santana. Um, Santana. 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 What's okay. all right? <laughs> okay. Ariel Hernandez. Josh Hader. Josh Hader. Here, let me let's get a sleeve for the Josh Hader. And Alex Reyes. <coughs> I like Hader. I agree. It's rough. There's a. Uh, there's something you guys think we ought to sleeve up. Just Hold toss on. it out there, and we will get that sleeved up too. Sydney, grab us a pack of top loaders. Looks like I'm out over here, except for Are big these ones. Not top loaders? Yeah, that'll work. Thank you, baby. <laughs> I'm like, they're, 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 it's right there. All right, so I'm gonna get that hater sleeved up. Maybe. <laughs> if you can get it in there. <laughs> well, my glasses aren't working with me. <laughs> <laughs> Brian's but, here. Brian is here. Just got done. All right, well, Brian, if you just got in here, this is from your subscription box. We just opened it up. Let's see the, uh, so here it was. You had seven packs. We opened 2019 High Number Heritage and the 2017 Update. We sleeved up the Josh Hader. These were your autographs. Adam Klopfenstein from Sapphire. A Domingo Leba. Number 99. And the archives, Eric Chavez out of 94. So those were the autographs out of that. Now we're moving on through the packs from the subscription box. So we're going to open this pack of 2015 update. A Josh Rutledge, Scott Casmer. There's yeah, a nice yeah, yeah. Yadier. I'm always going to put Yadier on top. Joey Gallo, rookie. And a Glenn Perkins. All right. So, Sydney, go ahead and let's see what we can find in this 2020 Donruss. Be looking for any of the rookies to come out of there. Boba Shett, Jordan Alvarez, of course, Luis Robert. Just do it this way. Guys, once again, these will be available on the website probably around September 9th, somewhere around in there for the live stream following the Around the Diamond. Look at there. Did you get a hit? Yeah. Very nice bonus autograph for you, Mr. Z Bart. How about a Bobby Bradley from the Cleveland Indians? <laughs> so there we go. 
nice little autograph there <laughs> out of the pack that come in the subscription box. Very nice. Sydney always pulls the fire, but yes. Stoney says that's absolutely 100% true. <laughs> Sydney always pulls the fire. Jim Rice for the end. You cannot beat a bonus autograph, the man said, that's for sure. Alright, so let's open this 2020 bonus. See if we can come up with another nice little hit. There's an Anthony K rookie. I see some color coming up. I don't know why I thought that was Bubba. There's an Anthony K rookie. Put that in the sleeve pile. Abraham Toro. Aaron Savale. There's a Luis Patino. Scanning the globe or spanning the globe. Joey Cantillo, Jackson Rutledge, Clark Schmidt, Royce Lewis is your chrome, and Alec Bohm is chrome, and you have Chris Bryant, Keita Marte, and a Sean Murphy. So I'm going to sleeve up both the K and the Murphy while Sydney takes off on mm -hmm. Bowman pack number two. Yes. Anyway, yeah, guys, these will go on the website after the Around the Diamond break. And once again, they will be $65 for the monthly subscription box and $40 for the prospect pack. We'll get to that prospect pack here in just a minute. Juan Soto, Albert. Alzale. Alzale. Isan Diaz. <laughs> Mackenzie Gore. Mackenzie Gore, mm hmm. Adley Rutschman. Tanner Hook. That'll work. Nolan Gorman. Nolan Gorman. Sixto. Sixto Sanchez. <laughs> Alvaro Sejas. Mauricio Dubon. Yeah. Miguel. Michael. Michael <laughs> Vies. <laughs> and, and Travis, Travis Dim Dimitri. Dimitri. Demerit Dimitri. Or Demerite. Demerite. I Demerite. think it's Demerit though. Sam Sports Shop. We're great. Thank you, sir. QC Card Breaks is here. We opened your package earlier, sir. We appreciate that Optic Luis Robert very much. It's actually right here. It is still up here on the table. That come from QC Card Breaks. We really appreciate that gift that he sent to us. Yes. All right. So, last pack from the subscription box, 2020 Tops Chrome. We have a Matt Olson, Rafael Devers, Carlos Santana, and a Marcus Simeon. All right. So, those were the packs that come out of the subscription box. The autos with a bonus autograph feel like those were really good for the price that Dan has those available for. Again, we're going to have them on our website here around September 9th. You can also pick them up from Dan off of his Instagram page or Twitter. And I believe he also has them on eBay. He had taken them down for a while, but I believe he put them back up. It's All right, so now, Brian, we're going to get into your prospect pack here and see what is within this one here. I kind of got off track, but you could put stuff in this. Yeah, it's like a it's like a bubble envelope. It's but, like... Yeah. <laughs> All right, so let's see what we've got inside the prospect pack. Prospect pack usually has some pretty good hits in it. <clears throat> Some nice prospect cards. Okay. So we've got an Aaron Ashby. A nice Keston <laughs> Hira. Nice Keston Hira prism. Uh, Giancarlo Stanton, numbered out of 999. An Ozzy Albies rated rookie. CJ Abrams. <laughs> Not really sure. Let's see, Josh Jung, 
Couldn't read the name on that one. Wait, is that a... Michael Chavez. Oh, that was a false autograph, wasn't it? And a Hunter Renfro. A net pack there. And then this one here. <laughs> to finish out the prospect pack. We have Andrew Vaughn. Nice prism card there of Andrew Vaughn. A Bryce Harper, 2030. Good looking card from Top Series 2. A Nico Horner, draft ticket, numbered out of 99. A Jason Dominguez. Nice spanning the globe Jason Dominguez card. <laughs> then you have a Future Threads of Dane Dunning. 13, nice big patch there, numbered out of 199. Number 13. And an autograph from the Bowman 2020 Top 100 of Matt Manning. So, nice autograph there of Matt Manning. Nice big patch there of Dane Dunning, numbered out of 199. Cool spanning the globe, Jason Dominguez. And then the Nico Horner. So, I'm really happy with the prospect packs too. The other one that Sydney and I opened and giveaway was really nice. We enjoyed that. We like these products a lot. So we got a hold again of 20 of the prospect, or I'm sorry, 20 of the subscription boxes, seven of the prospect packs. And we want to be able to share them with you guys for the same price that Dan sells them for on his sites. And they will, again, be available probably around September 9th after the Around the Diamond live break, which we're really looking forward to. Once again, thank you to Brian Zbart for sponsoring that preview of those so people could see what was going on and what we were going to be doing on the live stream after the Around the Diamond. Just, yeah, just, just set them in there and I'll organize it here in just a little bit and just put them back there on the you can hand us that blue box here Someone has asked set it when, right there when is Sid, sydney reacts when is the next sydney reacts video bears bears gary wants to know when the next sydney reacts video is yes well i, I am to off too. tomorrow and tuesday so i will try and get that lined out on one of those days and i have and she does have school. She did start school this past week. So we'll, start we'll get it worked hours. out, though. And I will have it up sometime this week because it has been a little bit since we have done one of those. Okay, so you're welcome, Lucky. Brian, and his buddy Lucky. You're welcome, sir. Yeah, you're famous, dog. You are so welcome. <laughs> All right, so now we're going to we're going, Men's Sydney's going to just have a little fun here. We're going to open a box of 1992 Donruss, and we're going to look for elite cards or an autograph card of Cal Ripken. What do you think about that? Let's just have fun. Open this box here. Wait, and can I get some Babe Ruth? Finish up. That? No, there won't be any Babe Ruth in this. But we might find, <clears throat> you never know, we might find some Nolan Ryan cards for J-Bob, or we might find a Frank Thomas or a Bo Jackson for Clint, or, you know, anything of that nature. But, again, the main goal is going to be look searching for Elite cards or the autograph of Cal Ripken. So we just figured we'd just have a nice little relaxing way to finish this up before we say goodnight on this little surprise live stream. And then me having to go to bed. Open up some Donruss. <laughs> see if we can cool. find some elite. This will be one of those deals, Sydney, where we won't name off all these cards. We'll just be looking for specific set. ones. Oh, nice. And I guarantee Bip Roberts is in here somewhere because we have the uh, Bip Robert curse going on where almost every single thing we do here lately has had a Bip Roberts in it. So we'll see about, yeah, we might be able to put that puzzle together. Who knows? Yeah. We didn't get to put together the paper. Go ahead one. and open your pack, Sydney. Let's see if we can find an elite card. Ugh. Ugh. Oh, I can't use my way of opening it. Here. I use scissors. 
<laughs> well, I use then, scissors. Then grab them and get them ready. <laughs> I use the we'll, scissors. We'll be here all night trying to open up a box of 92 donors. I, I also move my Just head. start going through them, babe. We'll just pull out the superstars. And then again, looking for elite cards. Just uh, kind of kind of have a good time with this. There's a King Griffey Jr. Set that to the side. And have a puzzle piece. <clears throat> yeah, every pack I have a puzzle piece. Yeah, I'm glad we were at least a lot able to get some puzzle pieces for the um set of Oh the Babe Ruth? Yes. Yeah, I'll try and get that one finished here for too long. Shouldn't take a whole lot actually. It looks like it would be like a big puzzle or something. Because it's in the 50s. Those numbers are in like the there's, 50s. There's a Bernard Gilkey. I'm always trolling Eric in his streams when I'm over there moderating. And he's going to pull autographs. And I'll tell him almost every single live stream. Hey, let's get that Bernard Gilkey. And he, you got a Bernard Gilkey. Well, we got a Bernard Gilkey base card there. Yeah, but I'm always messing with Eric. Telling him to pull a Bernard Gilkey autograph. Another Hollis build. He's getting in the mood to rip some cards. The itch is starting. Hey, there's Barry Bonds. Yeah, it had been a little while. Go ahead and set the Barry Bonds down there with the Griffey. It had been a little while since Sydney and I had done a live stream, Baby so <laughs> we decided to go ahead and throw a little one together tonight. Open some mail on here, open some packs do the preview of the Tricky Breaks subscription boxes and prospect packs. Put Roger Clemens down there. I was going to. I honestly know I wasn't. I didn't know. <laughs> <laughs> I was kind of zoning in to just looking at the screen. I'm not zoning out, but zoning into it. Does the... Uh, Video quality look okay to everybody tonight. I've, I've set some things up a little bit different in the studio with the ultra low latency. So just trying to make sure everything looks good too. Michael Heath. Hello, sir. Greetings. To Completing home. the box says September box info goes out tomorrow. So you guys, if you have not um, done anything with completing the box yet, make sure you get over there and check out his information for the September info that's going to come out tomorrow. Video looks Got some really great. good product. We've done some uh, product of completing the box. We were really happy with that. And we are going to try and get back into that and get some more of those here soon. Video quality is perfect. Thank you very much for that, sir. Oh. Oh. I have no idea Did Lucky do something? Uh oh, Lucky's Lucky's making messes and spilling drinks. I guess you'll have that with a hundred pound German Shepherd. He's not no hundred pounds. Okay, hundred and five. He's not a hundred. Oh, what? he's he's really pushing a hundred pounds. He's yes, he's <laughs> fat, but he's not that fat. <laughs> he needs to go on a diet. <laughs> Ruben Sierra. It is Ruben Sierra. He was one of my favorite players back years ago. Ron Gant was too, actually. I used to have a lot of guys that I just really liked watching play the game, especially during the late 80s and all the way through the 90s. There was just some really good players, in my opinion, that uh, made, a, made a big impression on the game. Backwards. I really love to see I, I think. Reggie Jefferson rated rookie. Nice Will Clark. Really love to see a elite card come out of this. I feel like mom made pizza rolls because I can smell some. This would be the, uh, <laughs> oh you smell pizza rolls? I smell pizza rolls. <laughs> this will be the second year that Donruss did elite. What you cooked it? 
and this was the first year that they did foil packs instead of wax packs. Your, there you go. It's your turn. I know. Falling behind on me. I'm just thinking about food right now. I don't so know why. Just thinking about food. <laughs> well, before I left my boyfriend's house, they were cooking, and um. You didn't get to eat with them no, tonight. No, because I, I don't, they started cooking. Yeah, I told Sydney she had to be home in time tonight for the live stream, so she missed dinner with her boyfriend. They were making breakfast. Jay's mix said, "Is it a puppy?" Nope, he is. Goodness, he, we've he's had about him six for, years old. Yeah, I think we've had him for six, going on seven years now. Um, but he's our baby. He's a special needs German Shepherd. He has seizures, so he's our he's our house baby. He gets he gets pampered all the time. <laughs> the one and only Bud Stoney, in his care package he sent to us, sent Lucky a gift certificate that was used for. Some carrots and celery. That is one of Lucky's favorite <laughs> snack items. Yes. Besides apples. And he loves carrots and celery and apples. All kinds of stuff. Arvignant. <laughs> You don't have to ask. Jefferson rated rookie. All right, Sydney, okay. jump on that next pack here and see what you can find. Apparently, mom wants pizza rolls. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we did a uh, reveal of the dog at our 700 subscribers. Want to get over there and see him? He's also a little snippet of him in our video, sometimes. video advertisement for Around the Diamond. Which we had a whole lot of fun with making that, <laughs> making that quote commercial unquote. Yeah. <laughs> There's a Todd Van Poppel rated rookie. Man, that thing used to be a hot card. Everybody used to chase Todd Van Poppel back in the day. Go ahead and hand it to me. Oh. I'll put it in the sleeve. Nice King Griffey Jr. Well, you still haven't put that Robin Yunt in the sleeve. Well, I will here in a moment. Thomas Howard. Larry Walker, and then a puzzle. <laughs> You're silly. I'm tired, and I'm starting to get a headache, and I have not had a headache all day. <laughs> like, right. actually, just my medicine last night. Then give the dog hairs. Let's really give the dog hairs. Let's really give The Bernard Gilkey. John Ramos rated rookie. Yeah, the rookie class in this set these days just isn't very good. But the chase is always fun for those elite cards for sure. And I can pick up several of these boxes fairly cheap from the LCS, so. We still do that for fun break on occasion, and I've got a box of 91 Donruss Series 2 Cello Packs that we're going to open on a video looking for Elite cards. We'll do that one here soon. Kyle's Cards, good to see you. Thank you for coming and hanging out with us for a little while tonight. started off with a mail. We had five packages we needed to get opened. So we did that on our live. Then we previewed the upcoming live break of the Tricky Break subscription boxes and prospect packs. Those will be available on the website. Again, somewhere probably around September 9th. Nice Pedro Guerrero. I used to like Pedro back when he was playing with the Cardinals. Roger Salkhead rated rookie. Luis Gonzalez. <laughs> Thank you for that. Yeah, I've never pulled one of the Cal Ripken autographs either.
so any of the uh, elite autographs I would love to pull at some point or another just any of them would be fine with me just like to pull one of them out of there the mass production on these cards you know the numbered game has gone down a lot obviously since they started doing um, sequentially numbered cards and back when they were doing these the elites were I believe out of 10,000 and a sequentially numbered card out of 10,000 these days would just wouldn't be even collectible but back then the print runs were so high on these cards that 10,000 cards was really low super hard to find and those elite cards are still really popular with collectors it's nice David Justice really liked him chased his rookie cards nice Tim Raines Dante Bichette Bo's daddy This box here, I paid $13 for it at my local card shop. Nolan Ryan. There's a Nolan Ryan we're going to put to the side for our good buddy J Bob. It, it's kind of funny that you say that, bud, because when we go to bed, he is always laying at the foot of the bed with me and the wife, and he's laying either right in front of an air conditioner vent or a fan, and 50% of the time, she is feeding him apple <laughs> slices or something of that nature, and he just sits there, takes them out of her hands. He loves apples, blueberries. Strawberries, carrots. carrots, celery. So yeah, he, he gets pretty good treatment. Yeah. All right, Sydney, go ahead and open that next pack. So. De Jesus. Jesus. It's not the Jesus. The Jesus. <laughs> it's De Jesus. <laughs> the Jesus. Nice cards in here. There's a Kenny Lofton rated rookie. It doesn't have hardly any value, but I'm going to set that one to the side and sleeve it up because I really like Kenny Lofton. It's a Dennis Eckersley, nice card. And Hubie Brooks. <laughs> Gerald Clark. Well, the Grim Ripper is going to be disappointed because we haven't pulled a Bip Roberts yet. Bip may have been in Series 2. I'm not sure. Was that Kenny Lofton again? Yep, yeah, let me have that one. So like I said, I liked Kenny Lofton when I was younger, so I'm going to put his cards up too. Not worth a dime, but that's okay. <laughs> that's okay. This is more about the, uh, the fun. The fun, the good time with our subscribers and everybody who decided to stop by and we appreciate very much mm -hmm. Vince Coleman man 
Really thought, and, and don't get me wrong, he had some really, really good years. Awesome base dealer. And I thought he was really going to contend for a possibility of the some stolen base records from Ricky Henderson because he was something else when he first started. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Kenny was great for the tribe. Loved him. Love Kenny Lofton. Oh. That just tore right open. I didn't even have to try. I'm expecting Sydney to pull that elite card anytime. I'm going to have that Mark McGuire. Because Howard Sydney pulls the fire. I'm <laughs> standing out of here. Louise Soho. The stack is getting tall. Yeah, the getting kind of tall, isn't it? It's going to go great with the cards for kit stuff. We'll get it separated out. Get some teams going on. Nice Ken Caminiti. Roberto Alamar. It's a pretty good pack. John Olerud. Not bad. Elite card. You said that in the last pack. Well, I'm giving it the elite card. I'm giving it the mojo. <laughs> the mojo. The elite <laughs> card mojo. We were just... <laughs> yeah, that puzzle is coming together. <clears throat> Tanky. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> Bernie Williams. Ruben Sierra. Ruben Sierra. Great player. DJ Dozer. What puzzle piece did you get with that one? Or did you already well, give I it to me? Gave it to you. Okay, I couldn't remember if you gave it to me or not. All right, so we need to find... I threw the puzzle away. They're numbered 1 through 63, and I know for sure we don't have 63 yet, so if we come across 63, make sure we set it down to the side so I can start start putting these in order. Nice, Ricky Henderson. We'll see about getting that puzzle put together. Ryan Klesko. Boy, I used to collect his cards back in the day. I've seen 16. that guy hit some monster home runs in batting practice at Bush Stadium. Was just... Amazing. Juan Gonzalez. Daryl Kyle. What trash is like? I want to put the puzzle together. Well, you sure can if we uh, get all the pieces. We got 60. Well, so. you got to have 63. I need 63 pieces. So you gotta find the piece that has the number 63 on it. There you go. Just a hair. There you go. Felix Furman. Roger Salkid. Yeah. Where's that elite card, Sydney? I have no idea. Probably wasn't in this case. <laughs> Probably not. I'm telling you, them things were so hard to find and still are. Wait, don't I have... Oh, never mind. No, you don't have any elite cards. I have something something that is like Gold of Bay Bruce. Mm-hmm. I just don't know what it's called. Just a Gold of Bay Bruce card? I don't know. Another one. Jesse Barfield. Another Dale Kyle. All right, so we can start a new little pile right here. No! <laughs> it was a bit of fall. <laughs> Almost went over. No, like the Leaning Tower of Pisa. But it, it hasn't fell yet. I don't know how it's leaning. Tom Hinky. George Bell. There you go. 
<laughs> String your hands up just a little bit. Robbie Thomas. Um, walk, Chris James. Oh, I don't know how to pronounce that. Dan Pasqua. That. So here, in case you guys want to see it, there's the elite information. Individually number elite cards, 5,000 personally autographed Cal Ripken signatures, 7,500 commissioned portrait cards in the Legend series, and then 10,000 each of the elite series cards. So. was the numbers printed of the Elite and the Legends. Oh, she's spoiling Lucky. Well, she's Lucky's feeding all, him carrots. He's, he's already spoiled. Yeah. He, you can't say he likes my new pillow. Early. He likes my new pillow. That's a nice Randy Johnson. But uh, Meemaw got me yesterday. Oh, I thought we had 63 there for a second, but we had the other corner. <laughs> So you, know, you gotta find the other, you gotta find the other corner, number sixty-three. Mm -hmm. And I, I, I got the same exact puzzle piece as you. <laughs> Fred McGriff. Mark Lee, Kenny Rogers, Dante Vachette, Heathcliff Slocum, Rob Murphy. <laughs> I just I completely skipped over that. That was my favorite player to hear Harry Carey pronounce back in the 90s was Heathcliff Slocum. Yeah, you can pronounce that. You can keep pronouncing that. It was fun listening to Harry Carey pronounce it, I'll tell you that. That's all I hear. Especially around the seventh or eighth inning when Harry was uh, good and into his drink. What the heck? That, nope, that's, uh, that's in the top corner. Yeah, that's number one. All right, so we got about Four or five packs left here. Five packs left. And then we're going to go on and get out of here for the evening. So Sydney can get some rest for school tomorrow. If so I can get some rest to take a day off. Do I need rest to take a day off? No. Juan <laughs> Gonzalez. Kelly Downs. James Patton, you're absolutely right, buddy. Harry was great. I loved Harry Carey. Bernie Williams. <laughs> As a St. Louis Cardinals fan, that's saying something that we, that we liked anything about the Cubs. But that's okay. Harry Carey was, uh, he was one of a kind. But he used to be associated with the Cardinals too, so he gets a pass. Bags lives, Sydney. Oh my gosh. Thank you for that. Cards and comics. Brian Z. Bart. Did you find Nope, you still ain't found it, have you? No. That one doesn't even have a number on. Oh yeah, it does. I thought it was four. Yeah, we definitely had a good time. We um it just been a while since we've done a live stream. The last one we did was the mystery pack so it just been a while and we decided hey let's just jump on there do a nice little surprise live stream for everybody we've got we had five mail packages to open and we needed to preview the tricky breaks that will be coming up in the live stream after the around the diamond break thank you once again to brian z bart for sponsoring that preview tonight 
Mm-hmm. Thank you for everybody who sent us mail. Even the gum. Even the gum from Mr. Steve. <laughs> that 2003... 2005. 2000, well, no, I think he said 2009, actually. I can't even remember now. I think it was 2009. But it was from some WWE wrestling cards, I believe is what it was from. I thought that it was going to be soft whenever, we, whenever I was going to push on it. No, it's hard. That was a pretty good pack. Y'all could even hear my knuckle hitting it. <laughs> Roger Clemens, Wade Boggs, Barry Bonds all in the same pack. That's a pretty good pack. Three weeks till Allen and Gitzer. Ah! Didn't find it, did you? Well, I to... <laughs> ah! you're not guaranteed to be able to put the puzzle together. <laughs> Better have it in there somewhere. It's not. It's not in this box. Mm. Well, I'll find it. I met Ricky Henderson that you just shot by. <laughs> <laughs> I think there's another one in there somewhere. Nice, Gary Sheffield. <laughs> Thank you for that, another Hollis Bill. We appreciate it. We appreciate everybody for coming and hanging out with us for a little while tonight. Had some mail to open, previewed the Tricky Breaks coming up on the live stream after the Around the Diamond. The Around the Diamond break will be our next live stream. It will be this coming Saturday night, 7 p.m. Central Time. As of the time we started this live stream, there was still one spot left in the Around the Diamond break. If somebody wants to go over to the website and grab that. And um, then, of course, we wanted to open this box here. Just to relax, have a good time with you guys this evening. See if we could come up with any elite cards. Of course, we didn't hit any elite cards, but we did pull a lot of nice star cards out of this box. Nice Hall of Famers. Uh, some wannabe Hall of Famers. <laughs> wannabe and, Hall of Famers. <laughs> and, and things of that nature. So, guys, we appreciate you hanging out with us this evening for a little while. And we will see you guys Saturday night for the live stream around the diamond. And we'll see you then. See you guys. Oh, <laughs>